A master musician is someone who's reached a point that few do. It's almost like they can express their soul through their instrument. It's an extension of the body for them. The music they create is sheer beauty. But what happens when you ask someone like this to attempt music that they absolutely suck at? Sammy G, Sammy G. I thought we were friends, and so now you're asking me to make a complete fool out of myself. I'm coming from a completely different world. So this was so, so cool. Not really known for being good at blues. Spaghetti Westerns, what do they sound like and how can we sound like them? See, cool things can happen when you take a great musician out of the familiar territory. So I asked some of my buddies, at least they were my buddies <laughs> before I got them to do this, to strip themselves of their musical comforts and take on something that they're straight up bad at. I can't wait to see how it turned out. To kick things off is my fellow YouTube guitar dad, Paul Davids. And when I think of Paul, I have a hard time thinking of music that he can't do well. I've heard him do jazz, metal, rock, and it all sounds great. But I've never seen him play slide guitar. Let's see how that goes. I bought this little thing five years, over five years ago, and I used it just for this reason. And I don't remember ever touching it since, so this is gonna be terrible or a lot of fun. Depends on who you're asking. Anyway, I do love the sound of playing slides, so when Sammy G asks me to do something, I guess better invest my time in playing something I actually do enjoy listening to. Although when I do it, I don't enjoy listening to it that much because it's kind of cringy. But that's exactly what you want, right? You want us to fail. This is for you guys. Enjoy. school they told us that it's always a good idea to under promise but over deliver paul clearly got that same lesson i mean slide guitar is almost like its own thing and for someone who spends as little time with the slide as paul does to make it sound pretty dang good is an absolute testament to Polly d's musicianship now let me ask you are there musical things that you find yourself wishing that you were better at for example, do you just play things you learned off tabs without understanding how or why the music works the way it does? Do your solos sound more like a bunch of notes mushed together than music? Do you find your playing lacks life? Do you just generally wish you could be a bit better on your instrument? If so, good news for you, I've got a limited sale going on over my course platform, SamuraiGuitarTheory.com, where I have five courses designed to answer the why questions in music and show you a path to a much more fulfilling relationship with your instrument. And everything over there is professionally animated to make the tough stuff as easy to understand as possible with supplementary material to assist with your learning. And for a limited time, I'm now offering the complete Samurai Guitar Theory experience for cheaper than it's ever been before. Use promo code SPRING23 to get all five of my courses for less than the normal price of two courses. You can find more information at SamuraiGuitarTheory.com. I'll also put up links in the description. Anyways, let's get back to it. Moving on, we've got Rodem7, who is certainly the real jazz deal, and he's going to be attempting some metal. And the thing about jazz is, to get it as good at it as Rotom is, it's a full-time job. You don't have a lot of time for music outside of the spectrum. So while you find jazz guys who can do blues and funk, you don't find a lot of these cats who do a whole lot of meddling. So it should be interesting to see what happens when one does. First of all, I'm coming from a completely different world. So this was so, so cool. Just trying to get this like, this sound from my guitar was really challenging in a way, but from the other side, I could actually use the pedal board. Um, you can see I use the rat here and I pushed the gain a lot in the BB preamp, which actually gave me this, you know, kind of really cool, crazy distorted sound. I was like, wow, it's like so much energy, but this is beautiful. Uh, I think this is the coolest thing of this kind of music. This is so intentional, there's so much intention. And for me, I guess intention equals love. So in a weird way, heavy metal means love.
<laughs> so we have acoustic guitars, upright bass played with a pick, melodica, shred licks all over a hollow body, and weird little bells. I'm going to go ahead and say this is unlike any heavy metal that I've ever heard, but it captures the spirit of the music in a really unique way. Like, this is exactly the kind of thing you hope to get out of an experiment like this. Weirdness. Super cool weirdness. Next up, we have Jared Dines, who, uh, Sammy G Hot Take, is one of the most important metal guitarists, maybe even one of the most important guitarists in the last decade. He has performed for massive audiences, been on the cover of Guitar World, reached hundreds of millions of people on YouTube, all through the power of heavy frickin' metal. But what if in an alternate universe, Jared Gent Daddy Dines was actually... Hal and Jared Dines. Today, I'm going to be tackling the blues genre. I'm not really known for being good at blues. I'm not really known for being good at much of anything, to be honest, so this should be a lot of fun. I figured the soul of blues is really improv. I don't know, I'm just guessing it seems to be the case. So I improved the entire thing and just hoped for the best and there might be some cool licks in there, but the, with improv, you just never know. You just go for it, and then sometimes you hit it, and sometimes you don't. But blues, from what I understand, it's really about feel and being in the moment, so something rehearsed and pre-recorded just didn't make any sense. So here is my solo over the backtrack I wrote in the blues genre. Wow, Gary Moore vibes, anyone? But it shouldn't be that surprising that someone so well-versed in metal can play some pretty nasty blues-style guitar too. I mean, you don't need to look that far back in metal's history to find its blues roots. But to me, it's still so interesting that you can have someone who is not in any way a blues man tap into the essence of that music through his heavy metal roots. Moving on, my man Rudy Ayub is best known for his memes, his proggy, rocky, metal-y guitar stylings, and more recently, his songs about wishing he was a horse. I wish I was a so when I asked him to pick between K-pop, gangster rap, and Mongolian throat singing, he said, how about Spaghetti Western? That works for me. Take it away, Rudy. Spaghetti Westerns, what do they sound like and how can we sound like them? So what do all Western movies have in common other than the fact that they all take place in the West? Yes, the music. They don't have the same music, no, but they all have the same type of music and it evokes the same type of emotion. So with the melody, I want to evoke the space. Because of that, the first note of my melody is going to be a perfect fifth. It's just a big intervaling jump that sounds open. And what I'm going to do with that melody instead of playing on the guitar is I'm going to whistle it. Because that's very Western, right? I'm only going to be using three chords, the A minor, G major, and then D minor. Percussion's going to be kind of gallopy, kind of minimalistic, but gallopy. And the strumming on the guitar is going to be the same. Something like that. Next, we need some backup vocals to just sing the melody, but we need like a thousand people doing it. Also, we need some sort of bell for some reason. That sounds Western to me. So let's put it all together and see what it sounds like.
the bad and the ugly, Butch Cassidy and the Habibi Kid, whatever this movie is, I'm watching it. Seriously great stuff though. It totally encapsulated the feel. It's the exact sound of the Wild West. And I can only hope that some hiker stumbled across Rudy busting out these dance moves wherever he was in the California desert. And that brings me to this guy. I couldn't leave my buddies out to dry without trying some music that I suck at too. Now let me tell you a story. This one time, at music school, I was asked to play a song in an ensemble that alternated between all sorts of weird time signatures. It was a terrible mess, it was absolutely traumatizing, and I swore off everything that wasn't 4-4 four, four, or 3-4 four, until today. I'm just so bad at odd time signatures. I just never play in them. I never listen to music that uses them. So I'm going to make some experimental 70s proggy rocky type of thing that goes way off the 4-4 grid. And to make this even more interesting, I'm gonna use my baritone fretless guitar, and of all my weird guitars, this one probably took me the furthest out of my comfort zone. So whatever you hear next is whatever I come up with, wish me luck. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Great musicians attempt music that they suck at. Did I just refer to myself as a great musician? You know what? I did, because we could all be a bit nicer to ourselves and practice a bit more self-love, so f it. Great musicians attempt music that we suck at, and we all nailed it. An extra big thank you to the boys for showing up for this one. If you aren't familiar with their channels, make sure you check them out. I've got links in the description, and hey, if this video does well, if people enjoy it, if it gets lots of likes and comments and all that kind of stuff, I could see myself doing it again. Uh, let me know who you would like to see in a future one of these and what kind of music you would like to hear them play. And remember, there's a new limited time offer going on over at my course platform. You can get the full Samurai Guitar Experience, all my courses, cheaper than I've ever sold them before. Use promo code SPRING23 at checkout. You can find more information at SamuraiGuitar3.com. I've also put up links for that in the description. Thank you all for watching. If you want my stupid face or any other Sammy G merch, you can find that at ShopSamuraiGuitarist.com. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button ring that bell and stay tuned for a wide range of music related content. Until next time, look after yourselves, look after each other, look after the planet. I'm Samurai Guitarist and I'll see you again soon.